<coughs> hey guys. Um, so I haven't been doing a video in a while, so uh, what I want to show you is something pretty cool, and um, it's what I've what I've never wanted to use when it first came out, but it's something that I would want to use on an everyday basis, especially with keywords. And you guys know how I am with um, with Excel. I love using Excel to manipulate data, uh, break down data even further, and you know just use the power of Excel to you know take advantage and do more research in um, uh, dissecting a keyword or any sorts of data for PPC you know you've seen all my videos with Excel now there's something that I want to, you guys to see that integrates Excel with keyword research and it's been out but I never it would, the idea was horrible when it first came out that I thought of but after the MSN workshop um, I saw the benefits of it, and I want to show it to you in uh, in, uh, in action. So, we're going to take a look at something here. It's going to be pretty cool. Um, so this is right here. We'll be using Excel right here, and it's called Ad Intelligence. It's by Microsoft Ad Center, and it's a key. To, it's their keyword research tool, and I think it's very powerful because it does break it up a lot. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Add intelligence, and this is your main dashboard. You'll see keyword re research, extraction, suggestion, buzz, all these uh, tabs here to help you out with the keywords. So, take a look at the keyword wi wizard, which basically walks you through the whole aspect of trying to find the perfect keyword. Okay. Uh, so, I've been playing around with it for uh, about a couple of days, and you know, I'm still brand new to it. So, let's take a look here. Um, okay, let's get uh, vertical. From a vertical monetization case, case fee. Case fee is keyword search protocol, I believe. I'm not sure. I have to check that back up. But vertical will basically let you get new keywords. Okay. Um, oh no, it doesn't. Uh, I think it's Excel range. Yeah, Excel range. Okay, Excel range. Okay. So Excel range, and we're going to go ahead and type in the keyword. Let's say the keyword will be um, icon cool pics because I'm recording on here. Okay, and <coughs> let's say digital cameras. Okay, and let's take a look. Hit next. Okay, please press view button to see keywords. Review these are the keywords that I'm, I'm, uh, I just been entered. And <coughs> let's say, <coughs> excuse me. Now let's say these are all your next um, view what on the next screen. And basically this one says campaign association. So just keywords based on advertising bin behavior. Uh, contains so just keywords which contain the original keywords, similarities. Uh, for me, I probably would want to do something with campaign, uh, but this only takes the information from MSN Ad Center only. It doesn't take in anything from Yahoo or it doesn't take anything from Google. So the campaign association bases information from MSN Ad Center. So if I'm only if I'm running something on MSN, maybe I'll use this, but most for most of uh, the situation I'm in. I'll probably use contain or similarity. Right now, I'll use similarity. Okay, maximum suggested keywords. Do 100. Confidence level is basically the, the strong relation of the keyword that Emerson Asset is going to pull in relation to the keyword that uh, you suggested. Okay, so I'll say t uh, I'll say five. You know, you want pretty strong keywords. Okay, review <coughs> to see the keywords that are going to be listed. It's pulling all the information from the KSP server. Okay. Uh, let's see, it might take a while. Okay, here you go. Um, and these are the confidence levels, and these are the keywords that came out with. Hit next. Monthly traffic. Do you want to see some any other data? You can do monthly traffic monetization. Okay. Probably monthly traffic is important. Okay. Historic date. You can go back to tw for almost two years. We'll only go back six months. Okay. Um, and that's about it. We hit finish. And right now it's looking for the data. Job starting. Going through the KSP server on Emerson Ad Center. And job finish. Hit closing. And look at all this data that you have in Excel format, which is so beautiful for me because I'm going to be manipulating this data. Um, so this is all the keywords that came out came uh, came out of in similarity. And the best part is that it gives you month-to-month uh, -month data. Um, it'll also give you uh, the keyword, and you can actually break these keywords more down more, like uh, let's say keyword suggestion, okay, uh, or keyword extraction, okay. 
no data we found, okay, let's try. Uh, keyword suggestion, let's do contain this time on Nikon Coolpix A700. Okay, suggested keywords, digital camera, digital camera, confidence levels was not that high. Uh, well, that's pretty average. Okay, uh, so take an, let's take another, uh, another one, let's do campaign association this time. Okay, this will actually take data from Amazon Ad Center. Uh, data, what can we use? Oops, I don't want to use that. Campaign. Okay, so this is all the data from that's related to Nikon Coolpix, and this is the suggested keyword for a campaign that they would want you to build. Okay, the best part about this is it's in Excel. It's color oriented. Also, you can do multiple. Um, manipulation with highlighting the, the keywords, using keyword suggestions, using similarity, contained, or campaign. And look, they'll break it down even more on this on the, uh, keyword that you've highlighted or chosen. Okay? See? So it breaks it down and gives you more suggestions. And confidence level, I'm not too sure uh, the confidence level on this doesn't look accurate to me. But um, according to the Emerson workshop, um, they said don't pay attention to it too much. So the keywords I'm more interested in. So there's a lot of keyword that's generated, and um, you can keep on breaking it down. You know, you keep on breaking it down. Similarities, similarities. And look, it's, it will keep on breaking your keywords down. You do contain, <coughs> okay, and it breaks it down even more. You know, let's take a look at similarities for this. Okay, so no data for that. Okay, so good. And then now you buy one sec, maybe monthly traffic, monthly traffic which is pretty cool because, you know, it gives you traffic stats on that specific keyword that you highlighted. Okay, so let's take a look at something. Let's say we did, let's take a look at what we broke down. Okay, so we broke down these keywords. Let's see the monthly traffic for these. Okay, and this is practically real time. Um, also, the, the best part is that you can see that this here, gray and white, is the, the solid data that it has, store data. This here is the color section. It's basically the forecasted which is amazing. So it's a forecasting the data, the traffic that will be sent to this, to these keywords based on these numbers. So this section here is forecasted data based on these numbers here. Okay. Uh, you could break it down geographic, demographic. Demographics is also a very cool aspect. Uh, let's see if I could give you a good one. Okay. And it's pretty fast enough, so, okay. So, Nikon cool picks, 50% male using it, and uh, digital cameras use it, okay, are searching on it. And these are the aspe uh, the demographics for these two specific keywords that I highlighted. Okay, it gives you the age group, uh, the date range where it captured, I'm assuming captured data, and male or female. Very cool, very cool. What about demographics? I mean, geographic area. Okay, let's see what part of the world are th this keyword really being pulled from. Okay? Uh, United Kingdom, Canada, France, Barbados, Malta, India, Netherlands, Singapore. Just all this amazing information. Okay? Uh, so I just want to give you a quick preview of that. And you know, just this tool is pretty powerful. I'll probably end up creating a nice little VB script or a macro or maybe use a couple functions to you know, disassemble all the data more and use it to my advantage, you know. Uh, other than that, I suggest for you guys to sign up with Emerson Ad Center. Um, look around the internet for for um, coupon codes and, you know, just, just sign up so you can use this keyword tool. You know, I kind of find this a little bit more uh, intricate than Word Tracker. Um, I use Word Tracker, I have an account with them, and I think this is more intricate, intricated uh, more complex than um, than a word tracker. It gives you more feedback, gives you more information, gives you more data. So you want to go ahead and just sign up for MSN Ad Center and download this free tool. The only thing is that you just need to have um, Excel 2007, Microsoft Office 2007. Uh, other than that, just play around with it, get used to it because I know I'm going to get used to it. I know I'm going to take advantage of this. And thanks for watching, guys.